Our attitudes, beliefs and behaviours are often shaped by those around us, a phenomenon known as social influence. Broadly, psychologists consider two types of social influence, normative and informational. Informational social influence occurs when we look to others for guidance in situations when we're uncertain about how to think or act. This happens frequently in everyday life, such as when we're in new environments like on holiday or at a new job. We also often rely on others for knowledge about complex topics like politics or law. This might be from experts, but it might also just be from that guy down the pub who acts like he has a law degree. It isn't the case that these people are accurate about the reality, just that we think they are. This type of social influence leads to lasting attitude change as we internalize the beliefs of those we trust. In contrast, normative social influence revolves around our desire for social approval and acceptance. Unlike informational influence, which arises from uncertainty about how to act, normative influence involves feeling compelled to act in ways we believe others expect to avoid rejection or ostracism. This type of influence can make us go along with actions that contradict our personal beliefs. Therefore, unlike informational influence, normative influence is more about public compliance than private attitude change. This explains why people follow fashion trends or succumb to peer pressure, such as by drinking or smoking. The role of normative social influence is clearly demonstrated in Solomon Ash's famous line study. Participants believed they were taking part in a task where they had to match a line shown on the board to one of several options. The correct answer was always deliberately obvious. Participants were tested in groups with what they presumed were other participants of the experiment, but were actually confederates who all gave the same incorrect answer on certain trials. The results showed that 75% of participants conformed to the incorrect majority at least once, with an overall conformity rate of 33%. When asked why they conformed, many participants admitted they knew the correct answer, but conformed to avoid standing out or being ridiculed, highlighting the power of normative influence. Since Ash's experiment, psychologists have delved deeper into the factors influencing conformity. They found that larger groups exert more pressure to conform, and unanimous groups also increase conformity, while any dissent drastically reduces it. Conformity rates are also higher in collectivistic cultures like Korea and Japan, which emphasize group harmony, compared to individualistic cultures like USA and Britain. However, significant variation also exists within these studies, highlighting the role of personality and individual differences. For instance, in Ash's original experiment, 25% of participants consistently resisted conformity, while 5% conformed in every trial. Therefore, there are both situational and personal factors that affect our tendency to conform to those around us. Did you know that most people after watching this video tend to give it a like and subscribe to the channel? It takes just a few seconds to do, but when you do, you'll be notified about the latest releases about all things psychology.